In this video, you're going to learn how to read a dial and digital height gauge. So starting off with the dial height gauge, you're going to have the base on the bottom here. There's going to be a handle in the back to move it up and down. And these are going to range in height, so this one can measure to 0 to 12 inches. Um, we have some other models that can measure taller and shorter. But basically, first thing you want to do is you want to zero your height gauge. So first, you're going to jog it down to the granite surface plate. And when you jog it down, you want to make sure you don't go too far, otherwise you'll see it'll start to lift up the base down here. So you want to jog it up and then just jog it down until it just touches. And then you can go ahead and zero the dials over here. You can do that just by pressing these black buttons. And then if this is not at zero, you can move this dial here so that the zero lines up with the needle. So once that's all zeroed, we can go ahead and measure. So for our first measurement, we're going to measure from the surface plate, where we set zero, to the top of this. So I'm going to go ahead and just raise it up, bring it over, and then just gently set it on that. Again, if you push too hard, it's going to start to lift this base up again. So now once we set the height gauge where we want, we can go ahead and take our reading. So this top counter on the side here is going to measure how many times this needle goes around. So you can look it went around two point and this is actually going to be zero so it's a little tricky to kind of tell sometimes these dials are a little messed up um, but we know we, this is going to be 2.0 so we're 2.0 plus we have to add whatever this shows so right here you can see there's a 550 and then this is going to be 51 so this goes from 0 to 99 so you know we're going to have two point 0 0.05, so we're adding that 50, and then we need to add our 1, so we're going to be 2.051 is going to be our final reading. So now let's go ahead and move this down to a different measurement, and we'll check that. So right here, this next measurement is going to be 1.5, you can see that on the counter over here, and then we have to add 10 thou to that. So it's going to be 1.510 will be our final reading. So now if we want to measure, say, the distance between the two heights we just measured, we can go ahead and zero it here using those buttons, and then also zero it on the dial here. And then jogging this back up to our first measurement and back down, we can see the difference between those two is 0.5. So again, you're going to add this number, the 0.5, with this 40, so 0.54. So your first number is going to be your inches, then you're going to have hundred thousandths, ten thousandths, and thousandths. It's going to be these little lines. So that's how to read a dial height gauge. So next we're going to read a digital height gauge. So a digital height gauge kind of looks like a caliper on a stand. It's a lot simpler because it has this digital readout. So the first thing you want to do again is bring this down to the table, making sure you keep it flat, and hit this red button to zero it out. So now we can go in, we can check our first measurement here, 1.510, easy enough to read. We can check this measurement here, 2.051, and then if we want to check the difference between them, we can zero it out, and then that's zero, bring this down to there, and we can see 0.542 is the difference between them. So that's the height from here to here. And that's how to read a digital height gauge.